Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so what I want to say to you today is be you and only you. Yeah, it's taken me quite a while to realise that. I want to talk to you from a perspective of career and self-development and moving forward in this life. I've been quite hard on myself, quite vicious almost, because for me to be able to enjoy success, it's been quite a difficult and quite a hard road. And I've had to work probably a little bit more harder than what I would have first thought when I first left school and went on to those sort of stages from that sort of time of my life. Sadly, unfortunately, um, a lot of ill health followed, a lot of problems followed. Um, and my life took a turn, which I wasn't really planning for when I was, um, let's say, when I used to have a laugh and have a joke and things and plan for the future of all my friends and my twin brother. Absolutely, I'm a twin. Um, blessing to grow up. But sometimes, when you are a twin, of course, you have that healthy level of competition, which anybody will always know if you have a sibling. Um, and that kind of, not rivalry, but almost you're staring at a mirror figure. And if you have setbacks and health problems in one thing and another, it can very, very quickly overlap. So, for example, one can speed along and the other, like myself, can be a little bit not behind, but the pace a little bit slower. So what I think I'm trying to say here is that, in fact, I am trying to say here is that, number one, success will be found if you want it. It does not matter how fast the journey is for you. It could be incredibly slow, but if you are determined and you are tenacious and you are hungry for it, then you will be successful at all costs. But never change you. Now, I work in an industry which is very, you could almost say, dog eat dog. Unfortunately, because of the industry I'm in, I can't come out and say what. Um, I work in finance and accountancy, but I can't actually say where I work. Um, but what I can say is the environment I work in, sadly, if your face doesn't fit, um, and I hope pe many people will understand that if they watch this, but it's one of those environments that if you're thought to be different or trying to be a little bit different, then you you may experience a little bit more difficulty than getting on um, in your chosen field or career. But never, ever stray away from who you are. Never stray away from your values, your core beliefs, um, and all of those great things what make us us. Now. Since the pandemic with the COVID uh, situation and how that's changed this world, I was very quickly forced into a way of working where I had to work from home and I would see nobody who I worked with. I would see no colleagues. I would see nobody other than the people in my family and the people who I socialise with. And of course, when you're trying to go on and develop yourself a career and you're if you're like me and you're career driven and you want this success and you're so eager for it, but yet you almost feel as though that you're being kept in a box, but yet you only feel as though that the only way going forward to be able to develop and grow is if you change who you are. Now, I was very true to myself and I didn't change my way. I had a lot of people always saying to me that you need to be more you need to be more forthright. I come from a customer service background in retail banking, and I loved my role, and I loved working with my customers. Um, so, of course, if I write an email, or if I write a document or a letter, it's very often, it's very, very customer service. It's very nice approach. It's very me, to be quite honest with you, and I'm not going to change that. And you know what? My immediate people in my team tried to change me, tried to change my approach, tried for me to be more pointed as to speak. Um, and that wasn't happening. So I sat here thinking, do you know what? I very often talk about my passions and what I love on my channel and my interests. But what I've been going through recently is I've been trying to get my career off the ground. I've been working damn hard. And do you know what? I made the conscious decision of coming away from what was normal and what everybody else done 
in my group of peers or my colleagues, as to speak, and I put myself out there and I kept true to me. I visited the office. I've worked in an office with barely anybody in there because of still having concerns around COVID. And you know what? Now I'm starting to be recognised and fingers crossed in the next couple of weeks, a promotion is going to be happening. Fingers crossed. And you know what? It feels so fantastic. Even more so, it feels even it, it feels that extra little bit more special because I haven't changed who I am. I've grown and I've developed and I've improved in skill set and knowledge and experience. But personally, those core values which mean the most to me to be understanding, to be caring, to never ever just put yourself to never put your own and your self interests first in front of anybody else. I would never ever do that. For me, I would always make sure somebody was okay, first of all, with an element of work, or I'd actually make myself more busier just so I could help them, whether it meant I couldn't leave at five o'clock on a Friday, or whether it meant that I had to work extra early in the morning, or I had to start much, much earlier. For me, the ultimate goal is being a nice person and being a nice human being. And that doesn't mean that you have to make up that you're someone's best friend. It means being true to yourself and true to others. So actually, if you're a little bit annoyed, it means coming out and saying it. Don't then have those conversations behind somebody's back. Deal with it there and then. Be respectful. Always be caring and always, number one, be a human being. So if something is going on, I'd like to think that within the people who I work with, I would know and I would feel comfortable enough to be able to say, are you actually okay? And I'd like to think that that shines through. So I'm really proud of the fact that actually my career is going to be taking a huge leap up, lots of great things happening, and actually I've stayed true to me. So be you and only you. That's what I'm going to say. But that can be construed in many, many different ways. Of course, I talk to you from a career, a development, a self, a driven person for wanting an amazing career and success. Yeah, that's what I come across, hopefully, and say to you, that's what I'm, I'm talking to you from that aspect. But of course, that could be many things. Let's turn it all around. So in any situation, only ever be you and only you. And that could mean if you're in a situation or if you're in somebody's company and they make you feel that you have to change just to be accepted or to be able to get on. And that could be in a personal relationship or in a career or in a role or any any situation where you think that may be applicable. Then that is not right. You should never be made to feel that way at all. So if you're in a situation where you're being made to feel that for you to be successful, the only way is for you to change. Now, I don't mean in terms of experience, in terms of education or skill set or on the job training or even on a personal aspect that you actually ultimately have to change you. Yes, develop yourself, but ultimately the very you who sat there heart and soul always stay true to yourself and always be you. And the minute somebody makes you feel that you have to personally change, that's wrong and something's not right. It's time then to start asking questions. For example, in a personal relationship, if somebody's making yourself feel that you are not good enough or you are the reason why something's not working, something's not right. Or if you're in a job and you've tried and you've tried and you've tried and you're not developing, you're not getting your career where you want it to be, then actually the problem may not be you. It may be the ethic. It may be the whole situation and that sort of ethos which is the problem and again sadly in this world if the face doesn't fit you may not just get there try a different avenue try a similar company or an organization you'll get there stay true to you because there is only one of you and you are a fantastic asset to a situation or a career or a relationship or any success. So stay true to you and only be you. And you know what? Bring it back to career and development. I have chosen a really, really difficult field. 
I'm going to sit here and tell you, I am not gifted with numbers. I am not absolutely fantastic, but I'm a good person. I like to think I have a good heart. I'm hardworking. And I have a passion for what I do. And if somebody has a passion and they have the desire to want to move forward, then ultimately you will get there if you want it. And that's what I'm doing. So ultimately, stay true to you and only be you. I hope that was a little bit of a good notion there. And I hope that may just give you the determination to stay true to you and to start looking around because there is so much opportunity in this incredible world we live in. Sometimes it's easy to get stuck into a rut and actually to think, you know what, this isn't work. I'm going to change me. I'm going to start changing my views. I'm going to start changing how I speak, how I present myself. No, 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 no. In terms of experience, skill set, knowledge, absolutely change, build on that and evolve. Fantastic. And stay current with changing trends and all of those great things which we need to stay current in this working environment, which we're all present in in this world. But ultimately, never change your core values and views. So to be caring, to be loyal, to be respectful. For example, never talk about somebody. Always talk to their face about it. Deal with the problem there and then. Always show care. Always show that you care. Always be loyal. Always be understanding. Because it's a fantastic analogy that, and it's a diagram which I've seen many, many years ago, where um, somebody is sat on, um, I think it's like a, like a harbour, and actually, um, it, I think it's an analogy of their thoughts and what's going on in their life, and actually they're sat there, and it's just this whole world, huge great big environment, and this small person is sat on this harbour, but yet underneath the water, is almost like these brainstorms of clouds and things of what's going on. And it's huge, it's as big as the world. So somebody could have their world on their plate going off all these stresses, worries and that. And yet your last comment or of how you've spoken to somebody in a certain, possibly a simple situation, could have such a detrimental effect. So always speak to somebody with care and consideration and respect. And you know what? If you speak prim and proper, and um, I say that because I've, that's been brought up in my face quite a few times, that I think I'm it, I'm stuck up, or one of those things, and I don't, I was just brought up the right way, I was brought up to speak correctly. Um, my family have worked damn hard in this life. Why shouldn't you then be able to look back at the world and think, do you know what? I'm going to work equally as hard as what my parents did and my grandparents did. I'm going to do it for myself now. But I'm not going to change me. I'm not going to change me. If I'm a sensitive person or if I'm a really caring, loyal person, a people's person, I'm not then going to change into a pointed character who's short with people, who's a little bit sort of aggressive in their approach. No. We're all different. And if we want to be successful, we will. You'll get there. I'll get there. You've just got to want to be it. And ultimately, be you and only you. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks very much for being here. It means so much to me. It really, really does. If you'd like to ask me a question, if you'd like to share something with me, absolutely anything, it doesn't even have to be relating to this at all, please do leave me a comment down below and I'll do my utmost best to get back to you as quickly as I can. Thank you very much. And until next time, I'll be seeing you real soon. God bless. Take great care and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye now.